knowing video is guaranteed to be terrible. Hello there Intertubbies, how are you? Hope you're well, that you're doing well on the tube there. Hope you're enjoying browsing the tube. I, I was going to start my video by saying what's up, because that's what you say in America, which translated over here means what's wrong with you. So I'm going to do the British version of what's up, um, and I'm going to do it now. Hey everybody, what's wrong with you? How are you? Welcome to this. This is going to be an unboxing of this that I've just got home from work and this has arrived in the post. It is a Zoom Q8, which is a HD Video Plus for track audio with interchangeable mic system. How about that? The audio guys are now making video cameras. If you are already a subscriber to my channel, you would have seen me unboxing this bad boy here. I should put it into this camera, shouldn't I? This is my uh, Zoom uh, H2N handy recorder. Look, it says handy recorder. It's a handy recorder. Uh, and I, I I purchased this because I kind of wanted to start doing uh, podcasts. And, and I have started doing them. I've done like four or five. That was a cat. There's a cat. Cat. The cats like it when I do these videos. They come and join in. The Zoom here, I have been actually very, very happy with this this Zoom. It's it's pretty, it's quite plasticky, uh, but it doesn't have any XLR inputs and that's the only bugbear I've got with it. So this could be getting sold as a result of purchasing this. The Hey Q8 Zoom HD Video 4 Track Audio with interchangeable mic system recorder thing. So this is an unboxing of this, so I'll crack straight on and stop wobbling on, shall I? So, let's have a look. Now, there's a reason I purchased this in the first place. My intention was that I should, hopefully, uh, be able to use this as a pretty good vlogging camera. I've seen test shoots with it, and it appears to have an extremely wide... <laughs> can, can anyone tell me how to... Let me see resale ability and all that. I'm not one of these really wealthy YouTubers who just rips the things open and doesn't really, really care. I'm just not that type of guy, you know? So, you're going to help me, Yumi? So let's see what's in here. Let's pull this out. This is now empty. It's quite a... I've, I've not really been fair to the box. It's got a nice little sort of flap. That's to entice you in in the shop. Nice little flap. It doesn't come with a cat. The cat's kind of like, but I mean, you know, the cat can do what it like, couldn't you? Your life's short and full of poo and stuff like that. So it's quite a miserable life. So in here, I seem to have this. This is the, I don't know what it is. It's got a Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube address on it. And I guess it's kind of a manual. So it's the manual. So I shall hold on to this and read it if I need to. I've just seen I've left my knife out. I'm going to immediately put that away. This is my Leatherman Charge. Jealous? I hope so. Right, so is this upside down? Yes, it is. So this is what you get. Wow, how small is that? I'm quite impressed already. So that's what you get in the box. Uh, through here I can see this looks like, um, I don't really know. But that looks like the camera. I don't know what that is. Oh, it looks like a USB. Battery. I hope the battery's charged up. Let's crack on. Right, well, I guess uh, I should have a look, shouldn't I? Shall we look and see what we've got in here? Well, it seems like um, we have a, a foam thing. Foam thing! Foam thing! Got the foam thing. Uh, I'm, uh, ooh, a little, little, looks like a little lens cap. It says zoom on it. A little rubber, little rubber lens cap. Lovely. Here we've got, a, ooh, a little thing. Little thing there. That's a that's a little thing. It's a. It looks like a little strap. Little thing there. So we got another thing. Uh, this here looks like another thing. Don't know. Can you make out what that is? It's exciting. Shall I open it up? Let's open it up. I, whatever it is, I'm going to stick it on the camera. So there you go. There you are. See that? See that, lovely people? Do you like it? It's a thing. That's going to go in front of the front of the camera. And uh, what have we got here? It's a battery thing. Uh, it's a BT-03, no doubt we'll have to buy about 45 of these in order for this to work for an hour. I'm guessing, of course, they would never sell any if it was that bad. So that's the battery. I've never seen a battery like that, like that before, so that's always glad to have a, a battery specially built for my equipment. This here is... Oh, I'm going to take it out because it looks like it... Oh, I see what this is. This is cool. Now, this is very cool. Let me get my, my knife... 
<laughs> Let's have a look in what this is. Yeah, yeah, okay, so it is, it is that thing there. So it's a tripod mount, but look, it's got like the, the little, what's it called, action camera mount on the bottom, like the GoPro. I don't suppose that, we're not supposed to mention brands, are we? But I will, because nobody watches these videos. This here is a USB key. key. This here is a USB cable. You have no idea how many thousands of these I already own. So thanks, Zoom. For giving me another one to hate. Yeah, it's just a mini USB. I'm not even going to bother with it. Okay, so I've been wasting a lot of time, haven't I? We're we're down to the camera. Just going to be doubly sure when I'm not missing anything here. Down to the camera, and immediately I'm feeling a bit of weight to this. Ooh, oh my, oh lord! My first impression, I have to tell you, is this is quite heavy. I did not expect that. But, I like it. This here is the Zoom, what is it called? It has a screen, like that, which is cool, which spins around. Oh, there you go, it spins all the way. It's got a very bulgy lens, look at that, which I think is a little bit of a giveaway of what's coming up later on. Let's give you some close-ups here. This is what the front is like. It says, what's it say underneath there? It's nice and cool like that. Let's just work our way through it. So here, here's the side. Zoom, handy video recorder. It does have this little push button here. I'm not quite sure what's that, what's that gonna do. Oh, ah, cool. Do you see what I did there? I pressed that button there and it kind of, I mean, listen, this feels really solid. This button mechanism, I like it a lot. That is cool, right? So now what have I got? I got myself a little audio recorder that I can hold like that in the field. Or I got myself a little video recorder. That is, come on, come on. That is awesome. That is cool, isn't it? I got, I really love it. Let's have a look. Oh, on the top here, look how simple it is. All it is is one button and it's uh, it's got a red dot in it. That's record. One button, off you go, start recording stuff. On this side, we seem to have a little drawer compartment, which I think I've nearly broken. Did you see that? That was mental. So this is for the, the battery thingy. Battery thingy. Shall I power it up? Shall I pop the battery in there? Shall I do that? Shall I? Shall I? Okay. So I'm going to pop it in. Pop the battery in there now. There you go. In you go, battery. Enough of your nonsense. I'll have to learn how to take that off in a more cool way. I think, I, did I break it? I, I very nearly broke that. I think it's just because I was being a little bit uncool. So you go, battery's in there, that's good. So we're now going, now this is good. Look, going around to the back of the camera, we have two XLR ins, channels one and two. The pin numbers are one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Cool, we've got a headphone connector there. This is, it says charge and DC 5 volts and USB and then down here it says HDMI and then on the corner here we have uh, the little traditional uh, hook thing to attach what I guess is in here which is the strap to go there which is awesome on the bottom if you watched any of my videos you see me complaining that this hole here must be metal if it's not metal your life could be a problem very very soon uh, so there's something else really on the bottom apart from the information which I'll just hold there in the light so you can pause the video and read that should you be really that geeky. It's designed by Zoom in Japan, assembled in China by children. Little children getting paid nothing. So in here we have... Oh, is it like one of those rubber covers? Is it or isn't it? Let's have a look. This is a bit fiddly. I've got to be careful because I don't want to break the damn thing. Do you know how upset I'd be? Oh, yeah, it's the, it's the traditional little rubber poppy out bit. And in there, it's got a D. Like, oh, no, it's just a SIM card thing. 
So it takes like little SIM cards. It looks like it's little SD cards to me. No, I'm not sure. I'll have to check. It looks like little SD cards. So I'll probably put like a 64 gigger in there. Let that run and run and run. On the front here, uh, on the top of the camera, it says a little Q8 there. And there's a little nick just at the edge there. I'm not quite sure why. The lens is lovely. Um, it, it's interesting though. Look, it's it, the lens is... I don't know if you, I don't know if I can show you this successfully. Let me try. Let me get something that's white. No, that's not white. No, that's not white. Go on. Oh, that's not white. Why is, why is nothing white anymore? Okay, this is going to be my bit of my sky bill. I just want to check. Do you, do you think that's... Pr yeah, do you see it? You can just see that the lens is, is, is just proud. Do you see, can you see that? So, placing the video flat on anything would would actually possibly damage damage your life. So there you go. Um, what else is there to look at here? We've looked at the back. We've looked at the side. Now, what is the deal with this? So it looks like we've got looking at the microphone uh, unit now. We have looks like some sort of level input deal it doesn't actually say and there's a little marker here I have to like make sure you can see that there's a little dial in the marker there you can see that you can sort of set I guess it's the gain there's there's the two side pushy buttons either side here I'm not quite sure what that's going to do but this seems to be coming loose oh ooh. I've just so I've just pulled the the whole section off which is kind of okay why so this is just microphones just come off and now I'm left with this what happens if I close this now that for me is a bit weird why would you do that I don't really understand that that's kind of weird okay so I guess it's good maybe they're going to do modules maybe you can get we can buy different types of microphones let me know write it down in the comics let me know now, something I am noticing though is uh, when this is closed, your two XLR sockets are pretty much gone, no access. So that's kind of intriguing. I guess to, if you remove this, it does at least give you the fact that's why they've done it, isn't it? So you've got access to at least one of the the uh, XLRs. That's, but you know you don't really want leaving that exposed, do you? Not really. But uh, I guess that's something that you've got access to the XLR. Um, at all. So I don't have an SD card in this, so I'm not really going to power it up. So let's have a look, just look opening the um, the screen. I think that's quite a good size screen. I'm quite cool with that. I think it's it looks kind of like anti-glare. Um, and then in here you have a um, bunch of buttons really. What have we got? We've got left, right, one, two, and then two dials for one, two. And we've got play and pause there. And down here we got a little power button. Now let's press the power button. Let's see what happens. Oh, hello! Straight into it. Look at that. No messing. Picture? You got a? You want a picture? Now let's have a look in here. What have we got? So we've got some audio level there, um, and it looks like it's showing me. Oh, sorry. It looks looks like it's showing me audio level of uh, audio level of uh, the, 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 these two mics on the back of the camera. Um, and then it's got one and two below that. So I'm also thinking that perhaps uh, it's a four channel machine. I you see, I, I know so little about this. It's kind of cool. The little lights have come on inside there, left and right, telling you which ones are active, I guess. Okay, then, so I, I, I got the manual out and it says this will, the recording media is SD, SDHC, SDXC cards up to 128 megabytes. Gigabytes, big pardon. Image sensor lens is a one third inch three megapixel pixel CMOS sensor. Uh, fixed focus, 36 centimeters. Uh, F2, oh my lord, that's really good. Uh, focal distance about 16.6 millimeters, 35 millimeter equivalent. Uh, the video format is MPEG 4, AVC, or H264 uh, MOVs. Uh, the video resolution can be 3M HD, whatever that means, uh, which is two, 2,304 pixels by 1,296 pixels at 30 frames per second. Or you can have HD 1080 30 frames per second, HD 720 at 60 frames per second, a low vlogging, 
Um, HD 720 at 30 frames per second, WVGA at 60 frames per second, and WVGA at 30 frames per second. I don't think I'll be going down that route. Uh, because this is essentially a company that does audio, the uh, audio formats are WAVs at 16 or 24 bit quantization, 44.1 or 48 or 96 kilohertz sampling frequency, AAC 64 to 30, 300, 64 to 320 kilobits per second bit rate, 48 kilohertz sampling frequency. So a lot of people tend to go 41, I would say, um, which is what I, what I used to do when I worked in a recording studio, 44.1. I would actually recommend 48 because that's kind of like the standard for editing and whatnot. Keep your stuff at 48, BBC standard, there you go. Uh, it's got a low cut filter, 80 hertz, 120 hertz, 160 hertz. Uh, dynamics control, it's got a limiter, compressor and leveler, whatever a leveler is. Uh, I won't go too much into it apart from that, although I will because I'm lovely. I will hold up the manual so you can have a little look yourself. Now if you're not watching this in HD, then what's wrong with you? Let me hold that nice and steady. Can you see that? Is that writing back to front? It is in my monitor. That's the spec sheet. Press pause, have a good read, zoom in, check out my fingernails. They're never clean. So, to summarise, if anyone, any of you have been watching uh, my recent videos, you know I have just bought two of these little fellas. Uh, these are pretty much point and shoot, switch on, and they start recording, press the record button, and that's all they kind of do. And I've been using these because they're just standard HD little cameras. They're quite cool. They've not got a very wide field of view. Um, I have been using, I got this camera when I saw it, and let's compare the two together. Um, I, I, I got this camera because I was blown away by one, the picture quality, um, two, the audio quality. The audio quality on these isn't so good, and I think the audio, audio quality on this is going to be astonishing because it's Zoom. It's Zoom, after all, making video cameras. Uh, but the thing I like most is this super wide lens. It really is a shockingly wide little a deal. It's 160 degrees that lens will go to. Um, and for vlogging, that's kind of just what you want. Uh, before I had this, I was vlogging with Chris Perillo's recommendation, which is this Monongus bad boy. This is super heavy. It's I think it's cumbersome. It's a wobbly little deal. Um, and I've never really been very happy with that. So for sale if you want it, because this is garbage now for me. Uh, this is the business now. This is the fellow I'm going to be going for. It creates some mob files. Hello. So that is it. If you are interested I am going to do some tests with this I might go out to the countryside with it uh, subscribe and hopefully you'll get a little email saying when I've uploaded that well I thought I would do a little quick test just to show you what the new camera looks like um, look how look, <laughs> look at my face I'm a fish so as you can see it's kind of bowy and everything at the sides here which uh, which I'm also noticing uh, just so you're aware on the monitor at the side here which I can't stop looking at and I'm sorry but the monitor at the side uh, the, there's a slight delay between me doing this and the picture which is also a bit of a shame uh, but uh, apart from it making my nose look absolutely enormous I can see this is, can be to be quite handy when vlogging uh, but I'm not entirely sure I've kind of set this at full HD at 24 um, at 30 frames per second a bit rate of 24 um, let's see how, well, what do you think of it? Let me know. I'm going to do a, say, a proper, a full review of this uh, at another time, but uh, I thought I'd quickly show you what it looks like, uh, the output from this. This is set, there's three modes in there. There's concert and there's like normal. If I put this to normal, my face was all burnt out from the window here. So I put it to concert. So this is as if I'm filming a concert. Uh, uh, yeah. This camera does come with, just hold it there. That rubber thing goes over the lens to protect the lens. So that when I was telling you that the lens was butting out a bit, uh, it turns out it doesn't matter so much. The little nick at the top of the lens, that's actually gone bright red to tell me it's a light, an LED, telling me that uh, it is recording. Uh, I love that. Oh, yes, the other cool thing to tell you about is the fact that this camera will also be a web camera, which I think is super, super, super cool. So you just plug it into your, your computer and away you go, you got a little web camera with an awesome mic on the top of it. As you can see, I'm a little bit in love with this camera at the moment, but uh, you know, I can easily change my mind. Um, just so you're aware, I don't, this isn't a locked off frame size. I can go into the touch screen here and I can hit a little plus at the side and I should be able to zoom it in, there you go. And hopefully the Boeing, oh the Boeing's still there, isn't it? But uh, that just lets you know, I've got like, I've only got three sizes of shot. I've got that one, I've got this one, I've got that one. 
Well, there you go. If you don't know, I'm a producer directed by trade. I'm currently making six documentaries for a very well-known broadcaster who makes historic documentaries. So I'm filming all around the world at the minute, which is super exciting, and I'll be taking this with me and vlogging the whole lot. So you'll definitely see lots of footage coming out of this little camera on my channel shortly. Um, I'm really chuffed with this. I, I, although I said it's kind of heavy when I my instinct was when I took it out that this is a pretty heavy camera, I'm kind of like super, super chuffed. It is cool, man. For vlogging, that is cool. And it's just a button, you know? Off we go. Let's record this, baby. And I probably can just record by not pr having the screen. Oh, you know what? I'm in love with it. I think I'm going to marry it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my little warble through the, the Zoom Q8. Yes, it's a Zoom Q8. I hope you enjoyed my warble through this. Um, if you do, did like it, do the obvious stuff. I'm not going to wobble on about what, asking you to subscribe. You will or you won't. It's entirely up to you. You know that. Uh, thank you. For, I do appreciate you watching. I'm interested to know your comments right down below what you think of this little bad boy. I'm sorry the video's been so long. and as I, It's more an exploration by me of this. I'm sorry my technical mind is not in gear. It's late. I've been working long hours. Uh, um, if you've got any questions, you know, ask. I'll try and answer them, but uh, stay tuned because I'm going to. The next step is to test this. Not going to be in this video, but I will be testing it very, very soon, as soon as I can find the time. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and uh, get yeah, get me on Twitter by the way. I'm at Fluctivus Flood. That's where I'll see you. That's where I chat to you. Take care now. Goodbye.